Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing ATF that is Automated Test Framework. And in next video, we create a test from scratch. So let's get started. This is the document. So what is ATF? It is an utility that enable you to create and run automated tests to confirm that your instance work after making a change. So being a developer, being an administrator, we are doing a lot of changes in ServiceNow. And after the changes are complete, we have to do manual testing. But in case of the test, which are lengthy, which are long, which is having uh, a lot of steps, we may forget certain steps uh, because it is a manual process, but not anymore. ServiceNow has provided this ATF that is automated test framework, which will do all these things automatically. You just need to club all the steps together one by one and ServiceNow will take care of it from there. But all other benefits we are getting from ATF are lined up here. The very first one is it is replacing manual testing. That is we know. But in case of upgrade, this is very much paramount. Because when we are upgrading, we are testing the whole instance. And while testing the whole instance, as the complexity of instance increases, so does the testing. And you know, ServiceNow is providing upgrade almost two times a year. So this is very much important because we have to test the complete instance. We have to test all the processes again and again. So it requires a lot of manual efforts, but not anymore. We can create ATF and once the such uh, tests are created, it will be running automatically and providing a best time saver and uh, efficient result for you. The second point is reusability. Once a test is created, it can be used multiple number of times. Or in case if we need any kind of modification, we can do the modification there and then we can use it. So that's why reusability is providing a lot of time saver for us. The third point is rolling back of test data. Yes, whatever testing uh, is done by ATF automatically, all the data it creates, it will roll back so that the instance will be the same. There will be no extra garbage or no extra, you know, tickets and all which are uh, there and increase the data size or increase the complexity of the instance. Once the testing is done, it will automatically delete all such data which is created under ATF. Next point is suites. It is a way to organize or to club more than one test together and run it in a batch. Okay, so in case there is a process which is very long and for that process you have created n number of tests. So for the sake of management, you can uh, inculcate all such tests under a single roof and you can call it as a suite. You can even specify the execution order so that the test will run one by one based on the order. Next is scheduling. You can schedule the test anytime as per your convenience, as per the business convenience. Next point is non-technicality. You do not need any kind of coding or any kind of you know scripting experience to create ATF. It is a very simple process, which we will see in a while. Then we have again one more time saver where we can uh, create n number of tests by just copying one test. Let's say there are two tests which are almost similar. So in order to uh, like make changes, we just copy one test and add the change whatever needed in that step only. The rest all the steps will be the same. So that's why it is saving a time for us. Finally, we have custom steps. So what are the steps? Steps are nothing but how you proceed in a particular test. Let's say you want to impersonate. So this is a step and for that a particular step configuration is needed. That is a type, right? Which type of step you want to execute here. So ServiceNow has provided a number of steps which are very much okay. But in case you need a custom test, you can create that one. How to create and everything we will discuss in a bit. Then we have these roles. So ServiceNow provides three basic roles for ATFs. These roles are self-explanatory, that is admin, designer and web service designer. You can read all about it. It is very straightforward and to the point. Then we have the example. It is a very basic example. In this we have created these steps and we are following and creating a test according to these steps. So what are the steps we have? You see here. First of all, we impersonate user, then we navigate to a module 
and then we open a record producer finally we set the values of that uh, record producers variable and submit the record producer then impersonate and then update so basically it is a create and run test for a single record producer item to test the functionality of that record producer so this is the example which we are going to discuss today finally we have test suites so you already know what is a test suites it is a combination of more than one test based on our convenience based on the process convenience so we have created one test suites also for you that i will show in the demo section finally we have this point to remember that is these are the points which we have to keep in mind while we create any test so the very first one is it is not recommended to use it in production we have to use atf only in the sub production instances because if there are chances or there are risk that the data may get damaged in production in case we use it there so avoid it using it in production the next point we already discussed whatever the data is created by atf it will delete it as soon as the test is complete so you can say it will roll back so that the instance will be the same as it was before testing so you have to keep that in mind the next points are self explanatory because it is saying that the property which is enabling atf is disabled in production and how to enable it how to disable it you can see all these steps so this is very basic thing so now this is done let's move to demo instance and see atf in real so you see here this is atf application in this the very first module is test so let's click on it there are various out of box tests are available so let's open the one which we have created this is the one test for itops record producer so what we are doing here we are testing a proper way to use a record producer we have already discussed all the steps so in this test you see these are the test steps okay the very first one is impersonation then we have to navigate to the module then open the producer then set variables value submit impersonate again open the existing record the record which is created by record producer and then update the record so all these are the basic steps let me open few steps here this is the very first step here you see the step config this is the most important part here you have to select the step config and in this you will find all the possible things which you can do in testing okay like setting a value like impersonation like updating a record everything will be available i will show you in a bit but this is how you can configure the things so whatever step config you select here based on that the field will uh, appear here like Uh, you selected impersonate so for impersonation you need a user to impersonate right so this is the user then we have this number 2 that is uh, navigation to service catalog right so you see the step config as navigate to the module and which module you have to provide the name here this is mandatory then you have open the record that is open reboot server record producer so you select here open a record producer then you have to provide the name of the record producer likewise you have to set the value of a variable select set variable values and then you have to provide the name of the variable and then you have to provide the name of the item okay and once you select the item the variable will pop up automatically and you can set the values here so this is how all these steps work let me click on add a step now you see as soon as we clicked here you see all the steps for all the utilities like for form you have the option here like open a form open existing form set a field field validation submit a form right for email what all you can test you can validate an outbound email you can validate outbound email generated by flow you can generate an inbound email all the possible testing scenarios are created here but still if you feel the step which you need is not available here you have the option to create a custom step okay and for that you have to come here under the same application you come here step configuration you see all the step configurations are available here you can click on new and design your step accordingly so after test steps you see these are the basic fields this is the name this is active you know this then we have this checkbox fail on server error so what is this 
whenever the flow whenever the testing is happening if there is any error you want this to be fail okay obviously we want that so that we understand okay uh, this is where we are getting some issues so that's what we have to check here but still if you don't want it just uncheck it then you have enable parameterized testing so whenever we test we want to do the testing with certain parameters right let's say we want to concatenate uh, two strings and in that first of all we send two strings then we will send two numbers and we'll send one string one number so like this we have the option to have n number of parameters right to do so you just have to check this okay then you see parameter definition is available here so how to do this we will see this parameterized testing in the next video and there i will create a test from scratch and show the parameterized testing as well so just wait for that video Apart from that, all applications are self-explanatory. Here you see test results. So whatever test happened, all the results will come here. You can open the test result. And you can see very much good information is available. First of all, see at the top, these all are the screenshots. So what are these screenshots? These are the screenshot of each and every step executed by the ATF. Okay so that you can use this screenshot and share it with the client anytime you want or you can use it in the documents so with proof of screenshot also available then you see the status here you see the start time you see the end time the duration you see the output you see all the steps here you see the logs of all the steps and you see what all transaction happened and how much time it will take at what time it happens so everything will be recorded here so that you can uh, do the debugging properly if there is any issue. So with this, it's time to run this test. You can click on run test. So how to run a test? You have two options basically. The very first one is start a new test runner. Test runner means any thread which uh, is going to execute this particular test or you have the cloud runner option. Okay, so this option is not available. So we have this one only. So click on run test. So you see here, the test is executing by this client test runner. Everything you can measure here. You see which step is running. Okay, everything you can easily see here. You see, you see right now it is running the step one and you see the frame also here. Okay, it is now coming to service catalog, opening catalog, selecting the item. Everything you can see and screenshots will be taken accordingly. So now you see the test is complete. Okay. Step one, two, three, everything is complete. Finally, in last, you see the rollback. That's what we already discussed. It will roll back all the data it created. Okay. So now let's click on go result. The same thing you see here, all the screenshots are available, all the logs, all the step results and everything, the status and everything is available. So like this, we can use ATF. Okay. So now we will come to the suites. We already discussed what are suites, right? So this is the suite which we have created. Let me open it. So under this suite, we have three tests, right? Basic, record, produce, copy, then all these three. So now, based on this execution order, these tests will execute. As this is a combination of more than one test, it may take time. So execute these tests accordingly. Then we have this test result. You know what is a test result? Then we have parameterized testing. We will discuss it in the next video. Then we have suite results. You know what are suite results. You can schedule this as well. Then we have all the runtime things here, like which client runner is running. You can schedule the client runner. What are the manual runners which are running? All these are self-explanatory things. No need to just go into it. Okay, you just need to know about test and suites basically. Then we have the administration part where you see all the properties. These properties are self-explanatory. You can uh, check one by one and update accordingly okay then you have step configurations we already discussed what are step configurations if you want to modify any existing one or if you want to create a new one you can click on new here then we have test templates so if you want to use the template you can use it you know what is the meaning of template then we have step configuration categories so these all are the categories if you want to add a new category you can add so okay you see already right email form we already discussed so if you want to create a overall new category here 
let's say UI page or something like that you can do so here okay then we have table cleaner what are auto flush we already discussed in separate video this is basically used to delete the data or, the, or to flush the data from a particular table so you can go to the channel and learn about auto flush there okay then we have finally all test runners so what all test runners which are right now available in this particular instance you can see all the available here so that's it ladies and gentlemen this is the complete overview of ATF. In next video, we will discuss parameterized test and we will create it from the scratch. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.